Hey everyone, Psychotronic Squirt Gun coming at you with another comic book haul. Uh, thank you very much for watching all the views and the comments. I really don't take you guys for granted, and I really appreciate you. Okay, so we're going to do this. Uh, I went to uh, a local comic shop, but it's not too, uh, you know, local. It's um, Comics the Gathering, kind of like Magic the Gathering. Anyway. Yeah. I love that place. Really cool shop. Here we go. Well, we're going to start off actually with a couple Ebays. Man, Planetary number one. Spent too much. I wanted to replace it because my when I received my Planetaries, they were all sharp, but the guy didn't pack, pack them right. But that's okay because I got them for next to nothing. And, uh, yeah, that wasn't as good as I wanted it to. We have a Spider-Man number one. Very happy to have that, but I didn't look at the uh, I didn't look at the uh, photo well enough, and I'm not happy about it. You know, there's a little paint right there, so that kind of yeah, I totally screwed myself on that. Look at that, fuck this one right here, <laughs> and then this one right here I already had coming to me. Gosh dang it, man! Sometimes I screw up. All right, so we're going to move on um, to the pickups at the uh, Comics the Gathering in Spanaway, Washington. It's, it's nearby Tacoma. Oh, yeah, and then uh, there was some kind of uh, traffic because of... Uh, yeah, and come to find out along the way, some car, like, burst into flames. Okay, so... In 1979, Bill Mantlo and Sal Bishima started a, a space um, opera. <laughs> Not a, that's Star Wars, right? Here we go. Ron. Space Knight. Number two. Got that for five bucks. Really clean copy. I like that. I like, I want all the 60 cents, but that's actually 40 cents, isn't it? But I try to go with the 60 cents as much as I can, but I love... The earlier comics from the 70s, too. I love how they look. Um, number 15. I got this for $2. And it's pretty clean. Number 20. I like Bill Mantlo. I haven't read that much ROM. And I don't think I picked it up that much. Here we go with a 60 cent cover. 36 Rom Space Knight. So freaking cool. Are we getting a glare? I can't tell. But it's like he's going Judge Dredd on everyone. Die, Wraith Scum. From this moment forth, Rom will show no mercy. See, that's kind of like a Judge Dredd thing. What a cool cover, right? 37. Another cool cover. 38 with the Master Kung Fu. Pretty dang cool. First appearance of uh, Dr. Dread. I do like opening these up, showing them. I try to open them, look at them, scan them into my app before I put them in the collection. It's a time-consuming process, but it's fun. So that's issue 38. I didn't really check the lighting this time. Went right into it. Okay, and all these I got for, you know, 2 or $3 each. I thought it was a good deal. I like these older comics. Uh, 40. Pied Piper, Pied, Pied Piper there. Number 43. We're in about 1983 now. That's a really cool cover. Some kind of out-of-body experience going. <laughs> Fun stuff. Okay, moving on. 
So another cool cover. I don't know if this looks like Bill uh, Sinkovich to me, but it's not, I don't think. Round 46, look at that. Cool. That's a really cool. What lurks within the pit? That looks awesome. Um, 49, yeah, like I said, two or three bucks, mostly $2 each for these. 52, two bucks, 53, I think Sinkovich does the, uh, some inks in this, look at that, pretty cool, got a little Reagan action for you, looks like Reagan, anyway, 53 and uh, 57 Alpha Flight. It's not John Byrne, but hey, it's pretty cool. Okay, onward. This is all from one place. 1979. Power Man and Iron Fist, number 51. I love that cover. Claremont, Chris Claremont wrote that, and Mike Zeck did the interiors. Yeah, so I might go to uh, back to eBay and just fill in the gaps or just really focus on what I want to do, like uh, what I want to fill, I fill out in my comic book collection. I should totally just write it all on a piece of paper. Could you guys let me know what's what's where's a good place to go online besides eBay? I hear uh, Hip Comics is good. But I want to target what I, I want to target things, you know what I mean? Okay, so 1973, this comic was made. Miracle Man 14. Little Jack Kirby action. That's a score for two dollars, I'll tell you that. Anytime I see Jack Kirby, I, I try to grab it. There was another one there, but it was so beat up. That I'm trying to um, I'm trying to be more selective. Okay, moving it along. Moon Knight, Volume One. So Moon Knight, Volume One, Number Four. Bill Sinkovich does the uh, the art in there. Pretty cool. And um, Doug uh, uh, Manch. Does, does the writing stuff. Here's number five. So I'm, I'm, I'm going after that volume one. I want to go after volume two, uh, number two as well. Here's uh, Peter Parker, the Spectacular Spider-Man. <laughs> 112, 112 for two bucks, three bucks. What is it? I don't know. It's, it's a clean copy, newsstand. But, I mean, newsstands might not be a big deal at that year. Uh, New Mutants. 24, more Bill Sinkovich goodness. Number 23, this was done in 1984. More $2 goodness. Whoops. I love the heavy inks. Neat stuff. So for five bucks, I got two comics. I got um, X X Men and Alpha Flight, a two issue limited series. So number one, and number two. I remember these. It was it was okay. The art was okay inside. Okay, here's a good one. First appearance of uh, Cameron Hodge, and also I remember when this came out, and I I paid up for that. X Factor number one, newsstand. It's it's high grade, ten bucks. Yeah, I did that. Um, here's X, Fa X Factor uh, thirteen. Nice clean copy, almost near mint. That's direct. And for eight dollars, I got the newsstand too. I just like you know, uh, Walter Simonson. I like um, Dark Phoenix. That's a great cover. I remember thinking these earlier fan, uh, X. X-Factors were just okay. 
Wolverine 24. It's the iconic Jim Lee cover. But that's, you know, what's in, inside is uh, Gene Colon art, though. Nineteen ninety, Gene Colan drawing a little differently than his more iconic stuff, but it was still cool. And Peter David wrote it. I like it. Here's uh, X Men uh, for a dollar. I actually went to his dollar bin and pulled this out. X Men Classics number three. Some incredible Gene Colan art. Love it. I got it's actually two issues in one X Men 62 and X Men 63. So that's in reality, that's X Men 62 and 63. Okay, Uncanny X Men uh, 286. For a couple bucks, why not? Two seventy nine for a couple bucks. I do collect Uncanny X Men, although this is not my era, but I hear it's pretty good. Two sixty five for three bucks. Two sixty three, three bucks. And here's one I'm really happy about. Um, 1983. That see, this is my X Men. I remember when I was a kid. 173. I guess uh, Ron Smith art in that. And I remember this as a kid, and this is uh, supposedly the origin of Silver Samurai. I loved. I loved this. And I'll just stop it there. So yeah, you guys, that's the haul. Thank you so much. I hope you uh, check out the other channels that are in the description. And, uh, you know, say hi to me. And I just, like I said, thank you very much for being uh, cool to this guy. It's like I've been doing this for three months. <laughs> and I'm enjoying myself. Anyway, thank you so much, you guys. You have a nice day.